Next, uh, we're going to take a break and we're going to do some stage combat. You ready? So frequently people ask, hey, I want to stage a fight. Do you bite your thumb at me? Yes, sir, I bite my thumb at you, all that type of stuff. So we're going to do some air broadswords. I've got the whole description here. I'm going to do it live here with you right now. It's a good hour to get us uh, woken up and stuff like that. So what we'll do is um, uh, uh, you start off with some um, warm-up games, and I will explain those warm-up games in a bit. But we've just played three warm-up games. After we get done with the warm-up games, I am going to fight you with a broadsword. So I'm going to hold a broadsword. Broadswords are heavy. They're heavy. So everybody pick up your broadsword. Pick it up. You got it? Then you'll hold it. Think about it as a baseball bat. Two hands, okay? Two hands. And you're going to take it, and I need you to swing it. Yeah. Swing it. Yeah. And now swing it the other way. Yeah. Swing it the other way. Yeah. Good. Nice job. Oh, wow. That is some library you've got there, Carmen. Nice job. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you're going to think slow mo. I want you to visualize now that you have a large watermelon, a large sword. You're going to throw slow mo that up into the air, and you're going to cut it in half. Okay, got it? So pick up your watermelon. Ready? With Throw that. it up into the air and slice it right in half. Fantastic. Oh, man. You look like Xena Warrior Princess there, Leslie. <laughs> well done. Well done. So uh, that's the beginning. Okay, the next part. You can do the standing or sitting, whichever you prefer. Now that I've done this, I am going to be attacking you. So I am fighting my whole classroom. I have 30 people out there, Zoom or otherwise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sword and I'm going to come to your, your left shoulder. And you're going to parry, Leslie, exactly what you're doing. You're going to go, boom, like this. Right. Okay. And rather than shing, 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 limp wrist, etc., what you need to do is you need to imagine that your arm goes out from there, and when you block it, it is not close by your shoulder. If it's close by your shoulder, I'm going to chop off your head. It's got to come out parallel to my sword coming in this way. Got it? Okay, here we go. Come into your left shoulder, and I go one, two, three, four, and you block like this. Got it? Okay. Everybody ready to go? I'm going to count to four. When I hit four, you hit it, and you're hitting hey, it. Michael. Michael, yeah. stop sharing your screen and you go to the big screen and I think it'll help them see you. Oh, I forgot I was sharing my screen. <laughs> Michael, Michael, stop. Stop, Michael. Hang on. Stop sharing. Go. Am I back? You're back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Here we go. Oh, we're going to fight. Okay. So you're up. <laughs> your husband's going to love this, Megan. <laughs> So, when I come to this side, you are going to block to this side. Ready? I'm going to do it on four. One, two, three, four. Wait, very good, Carmen. Come across. So, come all the way over here, Megan, to that side. You're doing this. Yep, that's exactly what you're doing. Everybody should be on that side of your screen. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go to your other shoulder. But uh, because this is so heavy, I got to wind up and I'm going to come around to this shoulder. And when I come around here, yeah, Megan, you did it. And uh, the other thing is they try to get my students to, you know, their feet are centered over their pelvises. Okay. Their pelvis is over that. Okay. Contact, right? Yep. Yep. All right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to this shoulder and this shoulder. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now I'm going to go down to this hip. Okay. So I'm coming to this side. And what you're going to do, you've, you're blocking over here. Not like this. Not like this, but like this. Okay. What you're going to do is it's a golf move. You're just going to drop it down over. Yeah, Leslie. Well done. Okay. And, um, uh, other other hip. You're going to come to the other hip, Carmen. So go, go over here. Perfect. And now just swing it down to the, your hip, blocking your hip. Perfect. Perfect. Let me go from here. I've just hit here. Now I'm going to come around my body, and you're just going to swing down and block your hip. Ready? Here we go. And 
Swing down, I'm blocking your hip. Okay, perfect. I'm now gonna go around my head and you are gonna go from here, which is where you are, right over here. Okay, okay. right over to the other hip. Okay, here we go, ready? I come around, you just move it to the other hip. Cool, got it? Now I'm gonna go to your head. I'm gonna do a head cut up like this and you're gonna turn into Xena warrior princess like this. Got it, okay? Not like this because I'll chop off your head that way above your head. Imagine the sword like that, okay? Here we go, I'm here, I'm coming to your head. Boom, and you stop it, okay? Now you're gonna bind off. You're gonna go and push it off. And now you're gonna attack me. You're gonna go to my left shoulder first. So you're not blocking anymore. Now you're chopping. And as you're coming here, ready? Come to the shoulder. One, two, three, four. Now come to the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. Got it? Now to this hip around your body. One, two, three, four. This hip. Now come over to this side. One, two, three, four. Yep. And it gets confusing sometimes, but if you think of it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now head cut. I'm over here. You're going to go for my head. Ready? Go to my head. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Bind off. Okay. Fantastic. Let's sit down and talk about it because you're going to love this next part. Okay. So that was fun, right? I hope your husband saw that maybe. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sad that he didn't. He went to go pick up uh, my something from my son's school. He needed his math. <laughs> he would have loved that. He would have enjoyed uh, making fun of me and appreciating all of you. So I I'm know. Sad that. <laughs> so when the recording comes out, Emily, I'll have to I'll have to show him that. Yeah, part. I'm sure Jason's in a meeting, but Jason would love doing this with his kids too. Um, so. Um, Fight the whole class, all 30 of them, and they're really easy to self-correct. You'll find that, oh, they're going to the wrong shoulder because the whole class is all going to this side, then they're all going to this side, then they're all going to that. Very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm ready to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bind off. Here's the fun part. Are you ready? Oh, now I got to go back to sharing the screen. I'm so glad that Emily, the voice of God, you know, pops in and says, uh, Michael, you're a little tiny thing right there. Perfect. Uh, here we go. Let me go back to this and you're going to have some fun. Boop. Is it there? You got it? Yeah. Okay. So. Hang on to what we just did. I'm going to describe these games very quickly. Circle clap, you stand in a circle, and I go clap, the next person goes clap, next person goes clap, the next person doesn't do that. They go. <laughs> then the next person goes this, and I go, okay, no, no, we gotta do it. It's gotta be clap, 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 clap. So that they're listening and receiving. And it's a clap and send. Clap and receive, clap and send. So it's not clap, clap, clap. You understand what I just said there? We're recording this. That's very funny. It's not clap, clap, clap. It's clap, 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 clap. <laughs> uh, you understood what I was saying. So it's a clap and receive, clap and receive, clap and receive, clap and receive, clap and receive. Making eye contact and sending to your partner. That's what that game is, okay? Stabity stab. Divide the group into partners and spread across the room. All raise their left hands and make a fist and place it behind their back where it stays. Raise right hands with two fingers extended. The object is to touch your partner. And here we go. I'm going to try to touch my partner. But as you're trying to touch your partner, they're also trying to block their partner. And so you got all of that stuff going on. Um, you can slow-mo it, which actually gets to be a little more fun. There's a whole bunch of other games which I don't have time for. But there's a, another really great game called... Uh, uh, poison Arm Sabers, and I don't have a description of this, but Poison Arm Sabers, you, both of your swords or arms are sabers, and slow-mo, you're trying to cut them and they're blocking, and then if you get stabbed, you, ah, 
and you die and then you move to the next person. There's also another really cool slow-mo game called Blue Light Special. Do you still have Kmart's open or live down there? Or are Kmart's the gone the way of the world? Most yeah. of them have closed, but we know what they are. <laughs> so Kmart's Blue Light converted into new spaces. <laughs> yeah, theater spaces perhaps. Um, Blue Light Special works like this. Uh, I only play with a group of like eight people. The rest of the class is watching. You, you, estab you establish the grocery store by walking around with grocery carts. If you're walking around the grocery carts, you can't see my head. You can't see any of that because I'm not sharing my screen. Hang on. Do it. There we are. Oh, is he back? Oh, he missed our fighting, man. Yeah, so I was telling him, I was like, you just missed it. Oh, I will get back to it. Ask for you, Trey. He oh. said you would love it. Oh, you would have loved it, man. <laughs> loved it. So I'm walking around. I'm establishing a grocery store in regular motion. And then the teacher will say, blue light special, blue light special, blue light special on. And then I will say something that's in the space. On the teacher's chair. And the minute I say that, they all go into slow-mo mode and start moving over to the chair. Now, when you're playing with sixth graders, they think it's about getting to the chair first. No, it's about creating a scene. It's based on the lovely American pastime of Black Friday. So imagine eight people going to the chair and trying to possess the chair from each other, grabbing, pushing, falling, slow-mo. Keep each other safe is what I yell from the side. Keep each other safe. Be aware of your slow motion space. They get done and they're going, <sighs> even though it's all slow-mo, to try to build this slow-mo moment into everything that they're doing, okay? Uh, and what's the goal? To make really great theater. And if they're, First to the chair, I got the chair. Uh, they're missing the point of, well, it's not over. Once you're in the chair, then it becomes trying to possess the chair. And I've had people pick up the other students and carry them and the chair. Uh, my favorite one to call out is blue light special, blue light special, blue light special on the floor. And the kids will go, what? And one kid will instantly go down and try to possess all of the floor that he can while he's down there trying to do it. It's really, really fun. So that's slow-mo. Stabity stab. Uh, again, you're trying to do it uh, so you can get it. There's great descriptions there that you can get to. Imagination walk. Imagination walk is uh, viewpoints. One, two, three, four, five. And I actually take them down. I need you to go to the floor in four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now go to the uh, floor in three counts. One, two, three. Now go in two. One, two. Safely, don't just fall. Do the same thing. Go in one. One. So now we've just trained them all how to fall appropriately. Right? Okay, cool. Uh, stage combat. I, I had a high school uh, about a year ago who said their entire cast had to die in the show. And yeah. the actors kept hurting themselves. So I had to go into this high school and teach everybody how to fall without hurting themselves. Sorry. Just yeah. no, no, that memory. It's true. And they're so dramatic. They end up falling. They go, no. Go yeah, down. To look uh, real. So they just slap themselves on the floor. This is the only body you have. And uh, we, I can tell them, hey, I'm 56. You're 17. You are infallible. But I guarantee you, you get to my age, you want to keep moving like me. So, you know, keep yourself safe. So number one on this rule, you can't see it because I'm not sharing. Let me share back again. Do 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 do. It's coming back. And are you there? It must be safe. No stunt doubles. No understudies. Our fights must be able to repeat it over 200 times. Introduce hold. When instructor says hold, repeat the word. Freeze. Be quiet. It should look cool. It must tell a story. Sound of violence. What sound does it make when we get punched in our stomachs? Ah. And now we come to this right here. Oh, and I, I know Megan will be back. She's answering your question. Oh, she's getting some water, okay? So I just went through this with you. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, head cut. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, head cut. Divide the students into pairs. A's will attack B's. Walk them through one, two, three, four, five. Now, the battle. I would do this outside or push all the desks back in your classroom, okay? And uh, it's described here, but let me tell you what it is. Um, can you watch me while I'm telling about it? Or should I go back to this? Okay. 
Okay, so what happens is evenly disperse everybody across the classroom. You will forget this when you teach this for the first time, and halfway through it, you'll go, oh, that's right, Michael Bart told me to do this. Now we have chaos. <laughs> Tell them where to stand. So you got 30 people in pairs. Have them define their fighting area. This is my fighting area. I'm okay. Oops, I'm in the way. I've got to adjust so that I'm not hitting Carmen over there. Got to adjust so I'm not hitting Leslie. Megan, move over here. Okay, so we're all, everyone's got their own fighting space. You okay? Okay, fighting space. I need all of the A's to go to that side of the question. Don't go. Don't go. Where are you in the classroom? I'm right here. Okay, you will be returning that same spot. A's go to one side. All the B's go to the other side of the classroom. They go to the other spot. You've got a whole classroom here. One of the couples is over here. The A's are standing on this side over here. The B is going to have to travel that far to get to them. The A is only going to have to travel that far. But they're all going to fill up the space. And then I say, okay, I'm going to give you a count of eight to get to that fighting space. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Define your fighting space. One, two, three, four, five. Move around each other. Seven, eight. Okay, good. We're good. Okay. Back them up again and you're ready to go. Then we start at the beginning. I want you to go slow-mo across the battlefield, ready to attack your partner. And so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Define the playing space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A's attack B's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B's attack A's. One, two, three, four, same thing. Repeat it, okay? Here's the fun part. Figure out who's gonna die. We're both gonna die. No, figure, uh, 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 who's gonna die? Okay, A's are gonna die. B's gonna die. Maybe, okay, did you did you figure it out? Figure it out. Figure it out, Charlie. Oh. Who's gonna die? Okay. Once you figure out who's gonna die, figure out how you're gonna kill them. You will have a count of eight to kill them. Is it a thrust to the gut? Is it chopping off their head? Is it you know what is it? Can I do five or six things? Yeah, yeah, but it has to be within a count of eight. Okay. So they figure out who's gonna die. After you kill them in a count of eight, you then die with a count of eight. One, two, three. Oh, it's so much more fun to die. Five, six, seven, eight. The person who dies then has victory over the top of them. Yay, I have won. And then all death has consequence. All death has consequence. You suddenly look down and you realize it's your best friend. Oh, no, you fall over them and grieve. The whole battlefield is grieving. It's like a scene from Henry VI, part two, and we mourn. Okay, cool. That whole thing is described right here. Let me show it to you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so have you ever used like two different colors of spike tape for them to mark their spot? Yes. Like if I have a class of 20 kids, I could easily see them getting. Well, and here's the thing, especially when you're dealing with, I'm not throwing elementary schoolers under the bus, but their spatial awareness is not like the older kids. And so you have, you have to rehearse where they stand, where they stand, where they stand. Otherwise it turns into Red Rover, Red Rover. And I have a battle that looks like that instead of a battle that looks like this. Now, uh, this can be used in any of the Henrys. This can be used in uh, uh, King Lear. This can be used. This can be used for the, the beginning. Bite your. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I do bite my thumb. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I do. Draw if you be men. Remember your swashing blow. Ga 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 ga. And then, and then that really good kid stands up there and he goes, rebellious subjects, enemies of peace, throw your mistempered weapons to the ground and hear the sentence of your moved prince. Three civil brawls spread by you, old Capulet, and you. I mean, you can use the fight wherever. They love it. And here's the thing. Did you notice what I called this? It's called air broadswords. There is no blade. I have no blade. If you're doing a play for the parents, you can add blades to this. But nobody gets hurt with a, with broadswords. Um, then, and I mean, it's a, actually a really, really fun. I, I don't know if I, you have the screen or not. Do you have the screen? Yes, sir. You can see it? Okay. Oh, wow. Give me, time. Give me time, Megan. I'll get used to that, sir. I'll get used to it. No, that's great. 
Um, so students move to opposite sides of the room. Eight counts move to your opponent. Eight counts circle around each other. Five uh, uh, fight in five counts. A is attacking B. Fight in five counts. Eight. That counts of eight. But it can be one, two, three, four. It depends on how fast you want to be. Bills kill A. Bills mourn in slow motion. A repeat A's killing B's great acting moments. It's important that at, that life and death have consequences at a moment where B's realize they've hurt their best friend. And then with a scene partner, they choreograph and stage an air broadsword scene utilizing the following. And look what we've got here. So what this is are some Shakespeare fight scenes. So they using those combinations um, and I'm not teaching you about this, but we do hand to hand combat. We do slaps. We do John Wayne punches. We do uh, slaps and hits. We do hair pulls, all that type of stuff. This is just a simple way in an English classroom, in a theater classroom, in any type of classroom, you can do this. But turn, hellhound, turn. Uh, Tibble, you rat catcher, will you walk? What was your have with me? None of your nine lives. I am for you. Do you quarrel, sir? Uh, you thief of love, fie, you counterfeit. Uh, I serve as good a man as you know. So there's multiple things. And uh, those kids that said, I'm never going to do Shakespeare. Well, they do Shakespeare at the end of this. They're so happy to do Shakespeare because, you know, we got combat stuff going on. Right? Yeah. I mean, our Romeo and Ju or our, I'm really proud of our uh, stage combat and Julius Caesar. I mean, there's some really great stuff. But they're not bleeding. We kill them with a really beautiful thing. When he pulls that blade out, I mean, it you think all of his guts come out with it because of the way he's acting, but there's no blood on that blade. It's all suspension of belief and imagine and make it so. And yeah, it's cool. So it's, uh, yeah, and I, I love, uh, and that's why I love giving this to English teachers. I mean, theater teachers, obviously, we do this and we have stage combat and we have fight certification and all that type of stuff. It's a really, really, really simple thing to do. And the only problem you have is then they want to go farther. And that's a good problem to have, right? If you like this, hey, get some training. You know, go in and, and do that stuff.